Okay, another little quick little thing that I never see anybody talking about that I always want to talk about. Not just Koshi, but his relationship to Papa Archeron. So, Papa Archeron went with Lucian to find, not to find, but to get Vasa to help in the war. And we know that, I think it was Lucian that mentioned that Papa Archeron, like, made some sort of deal with Kochi to get Vasa to help out in the war. And I want to know what he gave him to get Vasa to help. Like, what was the price of that? Because that's not the only thing that's weird. The other thing that's weird is that Vasa told Nesta, uh, he was more like a father to me than my own. And then, of course, Nesta was obviously, like, offended because he's playing daddy to Vasa, but he can't be a father to them. And so I was thinking, like, how does Papa Archeron, like, have a father-daughter relationship to Vasa? That was never explored before he died. I'm thinking that he had to get permission from the queens to do trading in Prithian. I think Tamlin knew who he was, and that's why in book one he invaded their home in beast form and not fey form. I also think that Papa Archeron was also uh, one of the merchants that re-swiped the minds of about Valaris. Part two of Koshi and Papa Archeron. So hear me out, but I think that Papa A made a deal with Koshi that um, if Vasa can help in the war, he was probably like, I'll give you whatever you want. And I'm thinking that Koshi asked for Elaine. You have to remember that he enslaves beautiful women to do his bidding. Um, Elaine even says in a conversation that when she's having the conversation with Lucian about how she can uh, hear his heartbeat through the stone. Partway during that conversation, she walks over to the window and she looks out to the sea. Um, and she's she mentions hearing... Well, she doesn't mention hearing somebody else, but she talks and it's like she's answering someone other than Lucian. Um, and that always kind of confused me. So I think that Koshi actually hid a part of his soul in Elaine. And as we know, even according to the myth, Koshi is called Koshi the Deathless, and he can't be killed because he hides his soul in other places. In the myth, there's three different parts of the soul hidden in three different places. So I think one of those places is inside Elaine, um, which is going to prove to be an issue. I think the second place is the little wooden rose that is actually on Papa Archeron's grave that they laid on his grave. And I think the third place is within the fourth Dread Trove, which, if everyone's um, theories are right, could be the horn that is tattooed onto Bryce's back. So I think we're going to see a lot of this come up in CC3. Um, as for a part of his soul being in Elaine, I don't think... Well, I don't know. I think that Koshi can probably control Elaine with that in a way. I know that usually when he takes a woman captive, he like takes her back to his lake and that's how they serve him. Like Vasa, she's cursed to his lake during the day as a firebird. Um, and Elaine mentions as she's looking out the window, she's like, um, she's different from the others. There are so many other girls. And Lucian is like, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> like, um, so we know Vasa is very different. Um, and I have to wonder if that has something to do with Papa Archeron's bargain with him. Because we know that he loved Vasa like a daughter. Um, which again is strange. Especially when Vasa told Nesta that, like, my heart just broke for her. Because you that's just... But... I'm wondering if somehow within the bargain that he... Um, part of the bargain was that Elaine wouldn't have to live with Koshi, maybe? Um, 
I don't know. It's weird that Vasa and Elaine are the only two females that he enslaved that don't have to stay at the lake 24-7. Um, Vasa is part-time, and as far as we know, Elaine hasn't visited him at all. Um, I don't even know if she is controlled by Koshi, but I feel like with all the clues we're given, that's the most probable outcome of what's been happening with her. Um, he would probably want a seer on his side for the upcoming war. Um, yeah, it's just, I think that he has some sort of control over Elaine. And I think it's going to come to a head in um, CC3 or whenever the Koshi and Queen's War is. Part 5. I think I actually just had a breakthrough when I was going over the other part. So there's actually a part in, I think it's Akasif, where Elaine says that she's been speaking to an older, wiser fae. And that could definitely be Koshi. We know that Elaine can winnow from how she winnowed into the library and scared Nesta. And she winnowed behind the King of Highburn and stabbed him to death. And if she is tied to Koshi, Koshi and she has been talking to him and she is partially controlled by him, this would also explain why she's been ignoring Lucian. Because in Akawar, she's the one that asks him to move in with them. She's the one that is super concerned when he shows up with blood all over him. She's the one that always seems like she wants to get to know him, like she's concerned about her mate. And we see this huge 180 and Akasif, where she's ignoring him, she refuses to talk to him, like, she doesn't want any part of him, but suddenly she's all into Asriel. And if we remember, when Cassian and Asriel go to rescue Eris from the Queens and Kochi, Kochi's been speaking to Cassian, but there's a part where there's a break in them talking, and he says to Asriel, I've waited all this time to talk to you and you refuse to talk to me. I've been waiting for you.